वेलकम यू ऑल नाउ आवर टॉपिक इज बेसिक्स ऑफ मैकेनिज्म इन काइनोमेटिक्स ऑफ मशीनरी लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड ग्रूबलर्स क्रिटीरियन कैलिन्स इक्वेशन एक्सेट्रा आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इनवर्सन ऑफ मैकेनिज्म एज वी ऑलरेडी नो काइनोमेटिक लिंक काइनोमेटिक पैर काइनोमेटिक चेन when one of the kinematic chain in fixed in a, when one of the link in a kinematic chain is fixed that is called mechanism from any mechanism one of the link is called that is called a frame frame that is called a frame frame when one of the link is fixed in a kinematic chain that is called a mechanism by fixing in tan we can obtain difference links in a kinematic chain we obtain many mechanism by fixing in tan different links in a kinematic chain we obtain many mechanism that is the idea behind the inversion of mechanism inversion of mechanism means uh, just we ulta the links by fixing in tan we obtain different mechanism that is called inversion of mechanism here the types of uh, kinematic chains four bar chain or quadratic chain single slider crank chain or double slider crank chain these are all the very important uh, types of kinematic chains here the important pair is turning pair and uh, sliding pair first consider in problem based area four bar chain here as you know the four bar chain mechanism here is the frame the shortest link is s is called uh, crank so this is connecting rod and this one is uh, oscillating lever which is used in crank and slotter lever mechanism in shaping machine here the function is uh, the crank is rotating and uh, we obtain the oscillatory motion at c so this is called four bar mechanism so just we obtain four bar mechanism what is the rule grays of law which is used to find out the four bar chain grace of law says um shortest and longest link length less than or equal to p plus q suppose you consider the shortest and longest link length should not be greater than the other remaining two link lengths s plus l shortest and longest link lengths less than or equal to p plus q p plus q means other two two links p and q links so the four bar chain which is satisfy the s plus q plus uh, less than or equal to p plus q that is called grace of chain and um, does not satisfy the this law that is called grace non grace of chain so grace of law is very important to find out the four bar chain inversions inversions of a grace of chain or four bar chain number 1 crank rocker or crank lever mechanism see the same figure also the title is crank rocker or crank lever mechanism see here what you see a shortest link adjacent to the shortest link this is the shortest link adjacent link is uh, 3 and 1 here fixing in 1 link 1 is fixed so um adjacent to the shortest link is fixed that is called crank rocker or crank lever mechanism example of this is beam engine here the engine is convert rotary motion into reciprocating motion so this is the this is the crank rocker mechanism which obeys the grace of law plus adjacent to the shortest link length is fixed so the idea began the crank rocker mechanism is is must to uh, satisfy the grace of law and also adjacent to the shortest link length is fixed here adjacent link is crank uh, sorry uh, shortest link is crank the adjacent to the crank is frame that is fixed so the crank rocker mechanism next double crank uh, drop link mechanism which is one of the short which is one of the inversions of the four bar chain the short link is fixed here the shortest link is fixed that mechanism we obtain 
double draw double crank or draw link the example of this is coupled rod of locomotive in rail engine we have this kind of mechanism coupling rod of locomotive wheels so the crank next type is double rocker or double lever mechanism here the idea is shortest plus longest link greater than p plus q remember shortest plus longest link length greater than p plus q that is non grace of chain does not satisfy the grace of law so this one is called non grace of chain also opposite to the shortest link is fixed opposite to the shortest link is fixed that is called double rocker mecha double rocker or double lever mechanism so here is double crank mechanism here is double rocker mechanism example of this uh, for double rocker is watts indicator mechanism pantograph mechanism ackerman steering mechanism so watts indicator so idea is watts indicator uh, yeah, in early steam engines in early steam engine watts used this arrangement for identify the pressure inside the cylinder so now we discussed a four bar chain four bar chain idea began the four bar chain is shortest plus longest link length less than or equal to p plus q which is called a grace of law so not satisfying non grace of chain so inversion of a grace of chain crank rocker or crank lever and double crank or drop link or double rocker or double lever now we will go for the problem for this area solved problems are four bar chain solved problems for four bar chain here the four bar chain you see the idea behind the four bar chain is uh, frame link length is 100 mm and shortest link uh, 75 opposite to shortest 90 and 100 mm link so input link frame follow a coupler the question is identify the mechanism as crank rocker or double rocker or double crank the question is what kind of mechanism you just to find out so the shortest link length is 75 longest link length is 110 p and q 90 and 100 mm here shortest link length uh, plus longest link length 75 plus 110 equal to 185 mm and p plus q equal to 190 mm so the since the s plus shortest plus longest link length less than or equal to p plus q so the which is satisfy the grace of um, and adjacent to the short length link is fixed so adjacent to the short link length is fixed so this is called we obtain crank cracker mechanism so we obtain crank cracker mechanism how we obtain number one shortest plus longest link length less than or equal to p plus q and also adjacent to the shortest link is fixed so these two conditions uh, we get so we the mechanism comes crank cracker mechanism next identify the nature of mechanism identify the nature of mechanism here c 1 by 1 a 5 8 9 10 and 9 so all units are considered as centimeter so for figure a shortest link is 5 longest link is 10 and p and q 8 and 9 so s plus l equal to 15 p plus q equal to 17 since the shortest link length plus shortest link plus longest link less than or equal to p plus q and shortest link is fixed the mechanism is called double crank mechanism shortest plus longest length less than or equal to p plus q short link fixed we obtain double crank double crank mechanism just you see double crank mechanism and uh, next see the figure b so 10 link is fixed 6 9 and 11 all consider centimeter so for figure b shortest link length is 6 centimeter longest link is 11 and p equal to 9 and q equal to 10 
so s plus l equal to 17 and p plus q equal to 90 since the shortest plus longest link length p plus q and adjacent to short links fixed adjacent to short link is fixed adjacent to short link is fixed so we get we will get crank rocker mechanism you will get crank rocker mechanism and uh, figure c 12 8 15 and 10 so shortest link 8 and longest link 15 p 10 and q 12 so s plus l equal to 23 and p plus q equal to 22 so therefore s plus l greater than p plus q does not satisfy the grace of law s plus l p plus q therefore the mechanism is non grace of chain that is called a double rocker mechanism double rocker mechanism and last one is uh, this 10 8 5 9 so, so s 5 l 10 p 8 and q 9 s plus l equal to 15 p plus q equal to 17 the shortest and longest length length less than or equal to p plus q then opposite to shortest link length is fixed here you see opposite to shortest link length is fixed 5 is the shortest link opposite to the shortest link is fixed opposite to short link is fixed that uh, we will get double rocker mechanism so double rocker mechanism i think uh, you will get a idea behind the grace of chain and the inversions of the four bar chain so i am trying to explain these things based on the simplest problems only in remaining uh, in future we will cover the remaining inversions of the inversions of four bar chain and slider trunk chain and uh, double slider chains also thank you all